the people are always oh, like, yeah. telling their story and they forget about the microphone. But I don't want to bring them out of it. You know, I don't want to be like, hey, pause what you're doing and put the microphone against your mouth. <laughs> and that's video right there? Yeah, I don't have it on right now. But yeah, no, 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 I get it. I just, I've not ever seen anything like that in my life. There you go. Now you're being recorded. Yeah. Very cool. Ooh. Scary. <laughs> so uh, there was this pop fly incident. <laughs> There's been many different this versions is a setup. of the story. This is a setup, man, if I ever saw anything. <laughs> and your famous father. I got it, I got it, and I'm pulling away. Because I thought, he's supposed to catch this, but he's not calling for it. I better go out and call for it. Wait, I ain't going to get to it, though. <laughs> yeah. But here's the end of the story. He was the coach's favorite. And then yeah. I run into the that? bench and I get yelled at. Hamburgers! <laughs> what? I did say that, didn't Wait, I? Wait, did. what was the pop fly thing, though? What happened? I'm second base, he's right field. And it was one of those in between pop fly. You played second base. In betweeners. Yeah. And right? And the rule is usually you, 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 you hope the outfield has the easier play and you back off. Sure, the you're outfielder coming in. calls it. And I'm thinking, call it, Ed, call it, Ed, it's yours. But I keep going back, and I don't hear him. And I said, I think I can get to it. So, I, all right, I don't want to collide. I got it. But it kept drifting. <laughs> and it fell. And you, uh, you must have been playing deep or something, and you couldn't get to it either. Or, I don't know if you stopped because you saw me there. But oh, I, I you stopped. didn't call it. That was, I think that no. was my – that was – and I kept ex- waiting for you to call it. That, that, I think that was the source of most of those same plays working that way. So that's my that's my that's your version. That's my version. (laughs) That's what my thought process was. I'm glad that we finally got to the end of that, though. I'm glad we finally. (laughs) We only heard my version. We're we're waiting for the counter offer. No, no, no counterpoint. That's it. If that's the way it happened, it happened. (laughs) You got to take it to your grave, huh? And it was May. And it was May seventeenth, nineteen seventy-one. I was getting ready to go fight for my country. And I got gigged. But, uh, I I think, that was our you. junior year, wasn't we it? We all want no, to thank I think you it was for senior that. year. But I do want to back up. You were I first, was, but you played first. Here we go. Here we go. I was not a normal right fielder. <laughs> right. Can, I, can we agree on that, Judge? Absolutely. Why, and why were you in right field? Where That's why Mike? I thought it was junior year, because you played. Who was playing first? Right. Who's on first? <laughs> oh, no. We're not going there. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I have no idea why I was out in right field. That's why I thought it was junior year, because you weren't getting much time at first base because you you weren't a pet pet of stewie no. like i was <laughs> no i was not a stewie pet but. what was your normal position first base? first what yeah. was your normal position second i was in my normal second spot that's why that's why i was i guess i was used to a more experienced right fielder or yeah something. i always yeah. liked second base because but. it was a more reactionary position yeah my Most favorite. Yeah, well, no, not with your yeah. father. <laughs> yeah. No, Trust my was, favorite was... But it was that day. <laughs> my favorite was third base. I always wanted to play third base because of that. Because just the quick play. Well, that's what, that's I had one step quick speed. That was it. I don't have... I guess well, I should that say... That first step, I thought it was quick. At. Second base is usually secondary reaction. The action happens, and then the second baseman decides what to do. But yeah. if, you're on th- if you're on shortstop or third base, you're making the decision the second the ball is hit. And I didn't like that. I like <laughs> you like kicking back and thinking about I it. I like to be able to be like, yeah. okay, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Get out of the way. But then right. there's Rocky, the pro. I mean, yeah, the best of. We brought we brought this young man under our wing. He was two years younger than us, but uh, he ended up playing Triple A ball. We we Been went grateful to, for that. Ever oh, since. Wow. Did what not, position did you play? I played shortstop, then moved to third. No, oh, wow. was moved to third. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> Why was that? So you were in where all the balls come. Yeah. All the time. Um, and I moved to third as a result of a guy named Alfredo Griffin, who was actually Ooh. the Cleveland shortstop at the time. Pretty good. And they said, you know, yeah. he's probably going to be the shortstop for a good while. <laughs> right. And, so why don't you just move? The, the better bet for you to be to find some <laughs> other place to play. And you were with what organization at Cleveland. the time? Cleveland. Cleveland yeah. Indians? Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and what, what stops? What, what cities that you? Oh play? yeah, wonderful little jaunts through Batavia, New York, New York Penn League, Waterloo, Iowa, Midwest League, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Eastern, uh, Southern League, and then Tacoma was in the Peace Pacific Coast League at the time. Wow! Nice. Wow! Nice. Wow! All with Cleveland, who was not a very good organization then. <laughs> 
<laughs> Indi- right? yeah. Indicative yeah. of yeah. me being drafted by them. And that was after an astounding career at Jacksonville yeah. University. Yeah, yeah, you got to talk about that. And tell us, Rock, who did you get inducted into the Jacksonville University Hall of Fame with? One artist, Gilmore. Yeah. Oh, Thank you very much. Man. Thank you very much. That was impressive. Yeah. Wow. Pembroke Bros. My one goal was to have a picture with artists, and I got it. It's like standing next to, you a know, tree. a grizzly. Yeah. The bit one of the biggest humans you could. You know, was it seven true? Hand and it's like, yeah, and I mean, every bit of that. Oh yeah, you ABA and a huge. I mean, just a head, hand. I mean, just like, mm-hmm. my goodness, that's a big person. <laughs> but he's <laughs> nice, though, right? Beautiful guy. Is Nicest it like when guy. he shakes your hand, you feel like a little kid? I, I you ought to, because I'm generally the, the tallest person, or you know, I'm six three, so it's not. You feel like a junior high kid. I had his picture with me on the refrigerator for like a year. People would come in and go, explain this. Who is this? What is this thing? Because I look like a, you know, I was nine years old. (laughs) Anyway, very fun. That's cool. So anyway, getting back to that pop fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought we no, no, okay, we did it. We did. We're not going to talk about it ever again. Uh, well, yeah, this later this but week. So it was your I'm fault, trying. but the coach yelled at you. Bingo. I mean, we just wrap it up right there. Well, the a, fault uh, is, Jimmy, it's a it's, sense. It's, it's, that's it's, actually, you got right to the core yeah, of Yeah, that's the, right. The story that's right. By using right. that term. Right. See, my friends believe it wasn't his fault. But. <laughs> right. My friends. Right, exactly. There you go. There you go. Point, counterpoint. Right. And, and from no, there, you can extrapolate into right. all different spots and it works for everything in politics correct yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it does. Well, how about we say it was a shared responsibility it's, it's a confirmation shared. bias it's actually we should study this this pop fly to see how people yeah. feel they're, they're, exactly. you should write about it exactly. Doc. Yeah. <laughs> the pop fly that changed history mm-hmm. changed but friendships everything <laughs> everything who would have ever dreamed 40 that still would be almost 50 years point. later it was probably yeah about fifty years ago. Some though. say but. it's actually shaped lives. <laughs> 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 but but we go back many years. I you know, I told these last night. You weren't there. Uh, but the ground ball I hit through my leg when we were in little league and he got cleared the bases. Me. And then there was the pop <laughs> other pop fly in Babe Ruth that would have ended the game that he hit off me and I didn't catch it. And then he doubled and we lost the game. <laughs> So I guess it was payback. Wait, what was the sense story? Of anger here. What was the story you told where, where, where like you you were like sliding past him and you looked up and you said, "I that think was he's the, going home, he, Tom." He, that was yeah, classic that was for a twelve years that was old. Double, yeah. That was the ground ball I hit through my legs and I was devastated. And then I went over, covered, set me through the ball, and he slid in safe. And he looked at me. Hey, Tom, I think the guy's going home. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I, I remember jumping up, looking around, feeling really stupid. Good Some line. say that's where the real friendship is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to get you back, sucker. Little that I know. Were you guys competitive? Not really. Not really. No? No. no. It was just a different world 50 years ago or 55. It was just just truly for the love of the game. I mean, there was none of this. Yep. Was. Yeah, I mean, just yep. we had no Bef- idea before the eight. You know, there was no travel ball. Mm. Yeah. No, you know, you're lucky to make the All Star team in Little League and and you know mm. play a few extra games. Um, and he was on the first um, All Star Babe Ruth All Star All Star team. Remember he played oh, that yeah. game at Bleecker Stadium? I remember that. Yep. Was, it was on the radio. It was, it was big, like it was the, uh, oh, the under city. the lights under the lights at Bleecker Stadium. It was like the oh, wow. best of the you city arrived. versus best of the. Suburbs, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. I do remember that. Yeah. That was at Bleecker yeah. Stadium. That was that was a pretty big. I was proud of you. Proud of you, buddy. Yeah, it was good. It was fun. That was a lot of fun. I have no idea who won. Nothing. I mean, it was just fun. It was just, that's. Yeah. I mean, it goes back to that. It was just goofy fun. It really was. We I, we didn't. Even, at least I didn't even keep track of batting averages. I mean, I didn't know anything yeah. until the awards banquet. Right. Banquet, I should yeah. say. Yeah. How did you guys become friends? Have we? Uh, I don't know. I was, uh, we were until Ed this conversation. Just, now so, I'm not sure. I, I think it was it had to be Little League. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. And Ed was just, I don't know, a friendly guy. I, don't know. I didn't know many kids. And I think, I think hmm. they just pull think up in the Rambler. Your pa- grandparents had a <laughs> Tell, Rambler. Oh, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Where's my sister when I need her? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps thinking I had a Rambler, but it was a, it was a Chevy 2 Nova. Uh, 
but chick magnet. It's a, it's a fun. It's a funnier joke when he says the rambler. <laughs> But it looked just like a Rambler. Can we agree? Yeah. It was like a box. It's, it's, it's like one of those cars you draw in, and like, you, like in school. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It was it. I'll give you. You're right. Can we agree on that? You're right. <laughs> no, if you had a Chevy too, you could get like forty grand for it. <laughs> oh, no. no kidding. At the time, it was about about eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. It was beige too. Yep. I mean, we're, we're gonna go all out. <laughs> yep. The real story, though, Jim, of these guys is I'm two years younger, so yeah, they're story. seniors. I'm a sophomore, right? You had nothing to do with sophomores when you were a senior, yeah. right? These guys took me under their wing. I was a naive little guy. He had no idea what to do. It's no. clueless. No. <laughs> was it a baseball they thing? They put again? their arm yeah. around me and said, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because you didn't have classes together when right. you were right. two grades right. apart. So, right. we, and you have no empathy we, for a sophomore in the hallway. Well, that's the thing. Like but. none, <laughs> none. <laughs> none. <laughs> and these guys, in their in their gratitude, not gratitude. I'm gra grateful, but in their congeniality and friendliness and friendship, it was it was sweet. They were great. They were great. That's the sports. And then are I great didn't hear from them for forty years. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think we could just see the talent. Yeah, this, I think this so. Guy's, this guy's yeah, coming. I mean, yeah, we, yeah we, by the first practice, we knew that he was on board with it. So, I mean, there is some definitely truth into that. But, yep. uh, oh, and Rocky but, stepped in when needed. Uh, our our starting shortstop day of the big game in the sectionals. What was it? He skipped school or something? Yeah. And they caught him. And so he, he got... I think he had some external troubles. He had some issues going on. And he squat coach wouldn't let him play in the game so rocky yeah stepped right in didn't didn't miss a beat that was it it really it. was of course unfortunately we lost the game but uh, yeah. yeah we actually just drove by uh Hudson valley to see the joe uh the, show mm. the, the stadium and then ed had a good, where did we play that sectional game oh yeah it's where the i think it's where the ice rink is there used to be the baseball that, field. that's used, where we used were. to be there wow. and that's where we played that last last game game in high school wow and uh pitchers but it, Pitcher, we played Mont Pleasant, one of the Skeckley schools, and the pitcher's name was Bobby Godlewski because I found out I played with somebody in Twilight League after we got talking about high school. Oh, yeah. I said, yeah, I can't believe we did pound that guy. And, and he made my best friend his best friend of the team. My coach made him bunt in the key situation. I never bunted in my life. I, uh, I, didn't have the, I didn't even know the stance. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it showed. Of course, he, he's defended his buddy. Oh, no, he was a great pitcher. You guys are probably lucky to score. And he runs off of him, you know, kind of. A little competitive yeah. banter that goes on, but that was fun. But we're stayed friends ever since, right? Mm -hmm. Fifty plus years. Sports are great for for that kind of thing because uh, you're you're in an arena where you're you're trying to win, but you're also trying to win and play, you know. Yeah. And so there's a humility there because you know that you'll play better if you got this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Guy come mm -hmm. and play with you, and. Uh, you get out of the way a little bit if you need to. Yeah, I think I think that's a good point. Yep. Well, and what's kind of fun about it too, over the years, I mean, the stories have changed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just, you know, but it's always been a bond and always been a friendship. Yeah. But, but it's, yeah. you know, I mean, except for that outfield story. I mean, the yeah. other stories have changed. But uh, I, I found anyway. that I'm closest friends with people with people that I've done things with. It's really hard to make friends with with people. Yeah. You haven't done anything with shared it's, experience. It's, right. Sports are like fake battle. It's like practice <laughs> war. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but again, too, you got to go back because circa late '60s, East Greenbush, New York. I mean, it was. I mean, Mayberry okay. was bigger than we were, you know. So <laughs> to have these friendships with sports was the unifier. There really wasn't anything else. I mean, there was no place to hang out. I mean, there was nothing, right? I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, so sports was it and that's how we we found each other and you just just continued on there's that, that path there's that classic line at the end of it's almost a quote but at the end of stand by me where richard dreyfus right mm -hmm. stand by me yes is at his computer and he's trying to figure out kids are going come on dad let's go swimming and he's trying to figure out how to end the chapter or end the book and the the he, I don't think it's spoken, but I think the text on the screen said, 
I've never had friends like I had when I was 13. I don't think I ever will. Yeah. 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 Yep. Beautifully said. Yeah. And you go, you know, in some of that, I think there's a true aspect to it. There, it's maybe not for everybody because there's certainly good relationships in adulthood. But like related to this, you're the fun part of baseball was like I maybe not never had more fun than just playing at George Ray's house. Mm -hmm. You know, just as like a ten year old, twelve year old, Mm fourteen year old, just summer day shorts, no shirt, playing. Yeah. That's what I told my kids. We were you know, they grew up in the age of where everybody got very conscious about security and you just don't let your kids Yeah. Take off in the neighborhood or whatnot. And so I always thought we used to just we go out of just like you, get on the bike. We had two or three different sandlock ball type fields, somebody's backyard or a wiffle ball game in the back. And, we, and it was just be home by before yeah. it gets dark, you yeah. know, yeah. It was, uh, or be home for dinner. Um, and God, I had to learn all the new rules when we had kids. And you were like, fan, you know, you, you were a certain hitter when you were hitting, right? You were <laughs> yeah, a certain we were person imitating. when you were playing. Willie yeah, McCovey. Right. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. it yep. was just a, it was, it was, Good, clean, innocent, but very impacting kind of fun. It it helps with a lot of adulthood things too, just because if you're organizing a game yourself, you're too young to really know what you're doing. You're just kind of saying, Okay, well, we need uh, nine players. Right. We need we need somebody to play this position and no one's playing it, so I'm gonna play it or I don't know, whatever. You right. just kind of Without an authority figure to tell you you're here and you do that, you're just kind of going, well. We all want to play the game, so let's play. Right. That's not <laughs> right. Zero that's, pressure. That's a great point. Right. None of it was adult supervised. Yeah. It was yeah. the kids Zero. figuring it out for themselves, and and you know there were leaders and followers amongst us all, and and that's the better spell. players and the weaker players. But mm-hmm. you know we, mm-hmm. yeah, we figured it out. There were fights and and you were and whatnot. at least yeah. where I was, you were lucky to have three guys on a team. Yeah, yeah. If you had three uh, guys on a team, it was like, okay, we, this is a good day. Yeah, yeah. So you got an infield outfielder and a pitcher or something. Yeah, right. exactly. Yep. Um, <laughs> and there's always that weird. one kid that's to leave to go to home to supper. It's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> and then you, we were, you worked the invisible runner. Oh aspect. yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hit it over oh, here. Yeah. Invisible <laughs> runners. Automatic outs if you hit it there. Yeah. Yep. We used to play me, you, and Kyle, yeah. and you just pitched. Yep. And so it was me against Kyle. And right. I introduced and, the concept of the invisible run. Yeah. It, 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 it was interesting to see because I figured out I start. I'm more um, analytical than my brother, <laughs> and I I'm usually sitting back and kind of watching. And I realized he was really trying to win, and I was just trying to do interesting things. So like, I loved it if I was way ahead. Because then I could just be like, oh, that's, that's interesting. now I can do totally risky things that might be interesting, you know? <laughs> wow. But, <laughs> wow. <laughs> like hit left hand. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or like try for a triple, pl- or like a double play well, when it doesn't make any sense there to, you go. or, you know. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but didn't, uh, I mean, we call them ghost runners. Or yeah, that yeah, they were. Right? Yeah. And it, I thought of this later, I should have thought of this when I was coaching softball and teaching girls the first time. The concept of a force play. What is a force play? What does it mean to be forced? Well, if you do it with all ghost runners, I think I would have taught it. I think they would have learned it quicker um, because they would have had to think in their head, oh, why is is there? Oh, think. Imagine running there. So we, uh, you know, if you had a ground ball, I don't know how you guys had, if you had different rules or whatnot, but. uh, well, plus it's hard to tag out an invisible. That's runner. true, yeah. and I'm, you know? that's why I was I was yeah, kind of groping uh, groping there because I can't remember. <laughs> and the high slides would kill you as well. No, I think really we had no. We up. had a rule that said if you could throw to the, any forced base and get the ball and step on the base before the batter reaches first, first, they're they're out. Right. Yeah. But well, then you had so you threw to second. It was first and second, and you threw to second. Then you'd have to know that you have a real runner first and a ghost runner third. In right. Real life. And then. Then I we introduced we the rule that you had to be forced. The guy out yes. there can't run until he's forced. Yeah, to run. until he's forced. Uh, to I don't run. know if you guys yeah. had similar rules. We had or... rules like the, the rules. Yeah, the ghost runners can only be forced in by the by the runner behind them. Yeah. So There's two analytical guys <laughs> over there. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm a, wow. Well, I never took it like that. It's like, yeah. They're not real. They're, not, they're just like, make believe. I, I was probably on that subject probably a little more like Kyle because I, uh, you know, I got I got to win. You know, yeah, I got, I got to win, but you know, <laughs> I didn't care about winning. But no, I wanted to be I, no. to be legal, <laughs> yeah, so right. I did have a little bit. You were just too analytical. busy with your invisible friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary thought, Angie, baby. 
<laughs> yeah. Very sad, but no, it's... But, um, but when these, my sons were growing up and we went to Twin Town, but we were kind of um, yeah, a little disappointed because I went to East Greenbush, yeah. but they changed the boundary like a few years after I got out. Right. So we went to Twin Town. It was fine. We met a lot of great people. But, you know, it's always... We're going there and they're learning everything about baseball at the at the ball field. Yeah, very... No sandlot other than the backyard. Yeah. Other than the backyard, uh, why not... And you want to know who the best players in that league were? I, I told Rocky about this one. The best player in the league was kid Joe Mahoney that played mm-hmm. with Kyle. Got the triple A, a few at-bats in the majors. It was a group of kids from Wine and Skill who still had what we had because they lived in Wine and Skill in a closed community. They used to ride their bikes to these ball fields or to uh, Main, Main Avenue School in Wine and Skill. And they did. I, I heard them talk with each other. It was exactly like what we used to do that nobody else experience mm, and they yeah. were the best players in the league by far they, they were all on the all-star team and they, they had just that natural they picked up the game by experiencing it on their own and yeah and they played by their own self-drive you know? yeah like we were always driven there yeah oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. we go. were told this is what you have to do and when you have to do it and that's the only way it could have been i there guess but i remember too i was just thinking about what well it was organized little league not babe ruth but it was before the Google machines and all this stuff that the manager had to call everybody. If it was like a rain out or something like yeah. that. And, you know, if you didn't get the call, you know, you were down there like a little <laughs> kid just sitting there like crying because you know, the field was so, yeah. do you get a call? No, you were supposed to call. You yeah. never called, you know, and they had a party line, couldn't get through. Right. So you're down there sitting there with your uniform and just looking. Like, over here, over here. <laughs> There's zero people there. You know, concession stands closed. The so phone was there. busy. Yeah, exactly. It's very so it we were at a house party at my cousin's in Latham at a, a birthday party, and it was raining off and on there. And my folks right. said, it's probably going to get rained out, but we weren't home to take that call. Yeah. And, you know, I said, we got to go to the field. You, you got you, you got to show up because I'm still hoping we're going to play. Yeah. You know, it, it stopped, you know, it stopped for five minutes and then start raining wow. again. Then my, uh, as usual, my father, it's going to be rained out. And my, and my mother always took my side. Yeah. So, oh no! Why don't, you, why don't you take time? And we're in Latham. Start together. up the Rambler. All the way to East Greenbush. Start up the Rambler, and we drove over. And of course, there were a few people there. I mean, they, they the managers like it showed up at the field, but it, it, you're in Latham. It had been canceled. We were at the yeah my cousin uh, Teresa and Diana. Oh. Um, for a, it was a house party, and I had, I went in my uniform the whole nine yards, <laughs> and I'm all set. To, the uniform, I was by always the way, devastated. They're waiting about rain 48 out. pounds. <laughs> you know, I I had this thought recently. Uh, I don't know many kids who go to their parents' games anymore because I have memories of going when you played softball and hockey. Uh, I think you went to one of your, yeah. That definitely. was right at the very end, though. That the hockey stuff. It was. Yeah, the hockey was scarier. <laughs> yeah. Really, I didn't think you were the enough to remember that. The hockey was scarier because people had like teeth missing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 My dad's out there. That was. Fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. But I, I think I had some of my best. Speaking of hockey, I had I had my. Uh, baseball friends my hockey friends and then i was playing still playing soccer for like five six years after college and different all a different group of people and uh the, the hockey friends were the most sociable i must say there was because you were always going out afterwards i think some of our best times were after the toughest losses you know you commiserate you, mm-hmm. you go out together and you all commiserate mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. right that was a good time just like you know when we lose when we we think back of it's not just the Obviously, you want to win, um, and you're, we would have remembered like winning a sectional, which we never did. But uh, we, you know, we were on that path. But mm. I, st- I still remember the losses just as much as the big wins. Yeah. I think you know, yeah. hockey players are very yeah. social. I mean, living they are. next to RPI for the past five <laughs> years, they're very social people. <laughs> they are. Yeah. yeah. The, you know, when you're in a bar and the hockey players come in. Yeah. It's a. It's a. It's a. Change in energy. Everything everything shifts, and all mm-hmm. the women go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Very well said. Not so much Little League players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I we had also the luxury of having uh, ponds in the neighborhood, so we, we grew up hiking the ponds and skating and bringing the skates, dangling them on the back yeah. of our hockey <laughs> stick and, and using two boots for the goal. And, uh, yeah. I, Jimmy Colton, we were talking about Jim. I know they they skated on Nassau Lake. Uh, yeah. The Dahlbacks, do you remember that? Yeah, Dahlbacks. Uh, the father would go out and build a rink for them. Yeah. And uh, when we were, 
a senior in high school. He said, come on up, bring your team, and we'll play out on the lake. And we went out. It was, it was like, unbelievable. Because we, mm. we were literally, we were used to playing on a little pond. Yeah, would, or somebody might make a little thing out of a plexiglass, uh, but nothing to fish. And you went out to the lake, and they had, like, boards and everything. And regulation goals, goals that the guy had so. built. And it was this, we were, like, in heaven. This was yeah. great. And, of course, I show up, and I forgot my skates. I, I just forgot. I just got my <laughs> oh, license. I had to drive all the way home, but I missed the oh, first period. Yeah. But That's yeah, some indelible. But that, uh, yeah. I, I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna have to cut this short because we do want to swing by Nassau that's Lake. Like, like, that's like Nassau Lake at its finest is when it's frozen. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, now I don't think it'll freeze. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's chemically impossible for that water to freeze. <laughs> It really is like antifreeze, isn't it? it really? <laughs> yeah, there's still that GE dump, the Dewey Luffel. There you go. That's Good. Uh, on the hot one of the hot spots in the state, and it's been yeah, and it's just ruined that whole. And the Post the and Skill that Creek area. takes it right through Nassau Lake. Yeah, sad. Yeah, well, hmm. sad. Corporate America. <laughs> I'm not saying we're getting old, but let's just say your father took us to a grave site before we came here. <laughs> So I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Hey, we're, we're, hey, I got a surprise for you. It starts up in this cemetery. I don't know if it was a drop-off gig or uh, what. St. Mary's, just up Brunswick Way, uh -huh. where Johnny, Johnny Evers is buried. Right. But I oh. couldn't find it. It wasn't right on the... I couldn't remember where it was. Uh, so when your longtime friends, years from now, start taking you to grave sites, <laughs> it's over. I will, I will make a repeat visit by myself and wander around or get, go there when somebody's there, there and... Uh, Ask him where it is. Kyle does that. Kyle, every move, every city Kyle has moved to, he finds a cemetery to walk in. It's a weird. I think it, it's weird to it, me. An old <laughs> cemetery. Wow. Is he is, looking for is, anybody? Is he going <laughs> to find a grave? And he wants to. He, wow. Uh, he said it when we were in Pittsburgh last week. He was like, "Man, I missed grabbing a cup of coffee and walking through the cemetery." Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's I'd known that about right. him when he lived in Austin, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, Every story has a, a story. A little bit more blood, distant. Right. It, some people, they used to put a lot of engravings in a little, almost like a short story. Uh, mm -hmm. It is kind of, Imagine are, if, I, if I were to put... Uh, there are some uh, things that are kind of neat about I, it. I, they wrap yeah. around like 10 times. <laughs> some yeah. of them have those like mausoleums, like yeah. those, those crypts. They're kind of creepy. Yeah. 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 I don't see a need. <laughs> I just made <laughs> but yeah, it's right. You, if you would, if they put anything it's, on it's, yours, yeah. it's more of a historical uh, thing. Yeah, that's okay. But, but uh, yeah, that's what you're about to say. If they put something on mine, that's what oh, I'm well, saying. It, it would wrap around. Oh, times. have you ever gotten a text from your father? Try <laughs> <laughs> oh, an email. Oh, I'm legendary. But, <laughs> but, yeah, like the three of us, you know, three old guys here, like Rocky, make a good point. I'll say, hey, how's the weather? And I'll say it's fine. Then we get the five day forecast. <laughs> it's like we don't need this, man. Woke up this morning a little, a little chilly in the mid four. It's like no, man. Just tell me it's okay. Went Ar <laughs> I went to REI and picked up yeah, a new blazer. Right, right exactly. Unbelievable. But, um, that's why we love them. That is why. I, I just want to make sure you get the point. Yes. <laughs> no, really. Luckily, I, well, I, I took the uh, Evelyn Wood speed reading class so I, I can get, get through this nonsense. What, what yeah. was my point? Right. <laughs> exactly. I, I, How do you think we feel? Yeah. But, I'll be right there, honey. I got to read this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what's sad? Um, I do, Tom again? I do this yep. more in work. Uh, I think I'm done. I said, you know what? I know I tend to over. I better reread this and cut it by a at least a third, you know. So sometimes you're getting edited versions. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's that good even to know. Longer. That should make us feel better. Oh no, yeah, really. Well, uh, you mean it could be a whole day instead of a half reading? Yeah, yeah. So we've been doing this music thing too. We probably should wrap this up. But yeah. We've been doing this music oh. thing uh, lately, as we know. Ed is an audio file. Yeah. Um, Rocky and I kind of kind of just file. tag tag along. Yeah. Uh, we've got our our favorites, and so we've been texting our you know. Different genre of songs to each other yeah. about the last six months. And it's been really, Actually, really great. I mean, Ed's got like, some great access to Axe being in Austin and, and he's the, advised. Well, we, and they've done a great job, all of us. We're, we try to stay away from the mainstream. Everybody knows everybody's yeah. hits, no matter how old you are. So we've, in essence, like the B-sides. And that's what's kind of fun because it forces you to listen. Because if not, it's like, you know. We did that. I went to a cabin with a band. They were recording bass and, they, and filmmakers were there it was just like a little retreat kind of thing to get away right and we stayed up late one night and we all went around in circles like just sharing songs that you probably haven't heard that you should right and it's a lot of fun oh it's great it's great but i actually have a playlist for this podcast where everybody who comes on can add two songs to it 
you pick the songs. But wow. I want you guys to do it too because it would be oh. interesting to see what you guys pick. Mm. You don't have to do it right now. You can you can like text later or something. Well, yeah, I'll just text you too. Oh, of course, yeah. your father will text you. you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, yeah. We'd be here. Oh, I'll show. definitely do that. He'd miss yeah. his flight tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this would be like favorites. Or sure. I mean, some people might put on. This is a, a, most somebody. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, I really like this song right now. This is what I want. Good. Or yeah. some people are like, this is a really influential song that. So, so you, we can define the, con- the, yeah, you, the criteria have, ourselves, yeah, yeah. In, in a sense. Uh, Whatever you... I think I described it. That's what we were, we were shooting at, the, the less... But we, we did branch into... That, that would say... Like, I would send uh, maybe two with the popular song, but mm. then here's the other one that I also like. Yeah. That I came, that not, and that's yeah, what makes it interesting, because it yeah. forces you to listen, right? Because if not, it's, it's background music. Yeah, it know? feels good when you, when you get one, too. Oh, you say one and it's like, oh man, that was great. Right. I have one, John Moreland, 3.59 a.m. That's my Mm. favorite one to share because everybody's like, yeah, that's a really good song. Yeah. I mean, see, and that's fun. I mean, to me, that's just a kick, you know. It was just, Rocky sent one, again, meaningless. It was like late 60s, early 70s. It was like, it was a one hit wonder. And it was just like, it just took me back. It's like, bam, you know. Mm. And then, of course, your father ran out of songs. I don't know. We should, <laughs> we should, go, on, we should go on record on that as well. I, I'm I not was, sure I was, what that is. I was hurting for a comeback. I, I, you know, the king of comebacks is sitting across from me. <laughs> I myself am not good at it. You, you know, you know uh, you're pretty good, but most of me and mom are just not good at, uh, at that. I, we did not get that gene, and luckily you guys got it from maybe your grandparents. I'm terrible <laughs> at remembering the names of things. Yeah, I just listen. You know, I put it on and I listen, and I have a hard time remembering the names of things. But mm. so I try to describe a song. That's difficult to do. Well, thank yeah. you for your time. This was yeah. fun, man. Yeah, this is fun. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I wasn't like... sure if you would set something up or if we just <laughs> get a demo or what. But this was good. Very cool. The oldie station. I love this project. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much.